Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jay, back with another comic book pickup for the month of March. Now, I did post all the videos I had for last month, but I did mislabel those videos for February for my comic books for March. I do have some games to show for January and February, but um, let's get back. Let's get back into these comics. Right now, and I have a uh, Dark Ring Duck issue number three, and that's one copy. Here's another cover. Another cover. I don't know why that's on it. And the final cover for issue number three. I do have a lot of comics for this month as well. This is more than my normal stacks. Because a lot of new limited series came out as well last month. Here's Gargoyles, issue number four. There's the first cover. Second cover. Third cover. Fourth cover. And the fifth and final cover. So far, I'm digging it these new Disney comics but uh, I'm hoping they come out with a DuckTales one <laughs> okay now let's get into uh, Red Goblin issue number 2 that's the variant cover and here's the main cover it's only two covers for this issue next we have Sp Amazing Spider-Man this is issue number 22 Here's the main cover. And the variant. Go back to the classic. Next we have Gold Goblin issue number five. There's only one comic with that one. But that is the final issue in the limited series for that. So I should not have any more unless they decide to do an annual for it. Also, here's Secret Invasion issue number five. This is the last and final issue, which is only one issue or one cover. So, as I said, that's a limited series as well. So, that's over with. And also, here's last, the last Ronin, the Lost Years Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here's issue number two, cover A. Issue number two, cover B. And issue number two, cover C. I haven't started that, but I will start it as soon as it's done. I might end up just buying a um, trade paperback, which is the hardcover for people who don't collect comics like that. All right, next is Storm and the Brotherhood of Mutants. Um, issue number two. Here's the main cover with an age storm on it. And here's the Marvel Anatomy variant. All in all, the artwork is clean on that cover. I like it. Next is Immoral X-Men, number two. And it's only one cover for this one. So here's the main cover to it. Next, we have Spider-Gwen Shadow Clones. My comic book store did originally give me only one copy so I didn't have all the covers but then I went back in there later and noticed that they had more covers I still think I'm missing one more but I have four so far so uh here's one variant here's the main cover another variant which I like this variant and here's the Stormbreaker variant. There are other variants of them, but my comic book store didn't have them. So I can't get what they don't have. Next is the Marvel Annual Women of Marvel. I did notice that they had one on um, Disney Plus, like a little special for the Women of Marvel as well. So here's issue number one. As I said, it's an annual. And that's a variant cover. No, that's actually the main cover. Here's the variant. 
And here's the third and final variant. I like what they did for the Women's Month, International Women's Month. I wholeheartedly support that. And what I tell y'all, <laughs> I knew it was another issue with Spider Gwen. I found that one, so it may be another one somewhere. This is the original one I brought when I only had one. All right, next is Milestone Comics 30th Anniversary Special Number One. It's that annual. Uh, so here's a throwback. It has uh, Terry McGinnis on Batman Beyond and on Virgil. Uh, I can't always forget his last name. On um, Static Shop. That's the first one. Here's the second one with the cartoon Static Shop. And here's the final one with two versions of Static Shock. Um, I'm not too much into the Milestone series, but I do know it, a lot of stuff came, a lot of characters came out of them later in um, when they was going through the changes over at DC. All right, next I have Cosmic Ghost Rider number one, which that is the main issue. Is the first variant and the second variant. Haven't read that yet, but like I always tell you, I always read them at the fifth, once I get to the fifth issue. Also, here's the static shadows of Dakota Milestone 30, issue number two, for um, the static, the new static shock limited series. And here's the second variant, well, the only variant, I keep saying second. Next, we have um, the annual Spider-Man Un Unforgiven. There's three covers to that one. Here's the Stormbreaker cover, which I like that. Especially that that, gr that gray shade and the black. This looks like this whole pencil art, but no coloring. Here's the main cover. And here's the final variant. This is an annual, so it's only a once a year issue right there I, that's I still have a lot left as you can see that stack next is Rogue and Gambit number one there's a lot of issues to this one so I'm trying to get them together Actually, it's not it's only I thought I had more than four but oh well um here's the main issue Stonebreaker variant. Second variant. And a Mystique variant. As everybody knows, Mystique put Rogue down the path, Rogue down the path to steal her, uh, Miss Marvel's um, powers and to absorb all of her memories. Here's Issue number five of um, Batman and the Joker, Deadly Duo. Here's, let me see the main cover. All right. Here's the main cover. A variant. And the final variant. Next is the I Am Iron Man series. Uh, here's the the main cover, which is a throwback to the old, basically the old days. How they um their drawings, their style of drawing for covers, cover art. That's the main, and here's the variant with the first Iron Man, the Mach One suit. I believe that's what it is. I put this in my box a long time ago and didn't think I was going to get it. But here's a new um, issue number one of the Duck, Darkwing Duck. Even though I, I'm currently collecting issue number three. So this is the um, the first one that says it's a limited series. Actually, I think that might be the old one, the original one. Not, it might not be to the series I'm actually current collecting, currently collecting. Here's Murder World Game Over. 
I also have a few other Murder Worlds. Wolverine, I believe Spider-Man, and Moon Knight. It might be one more. That's the main cover. And here's the variant. Next, we have Hollow's Eve. And that's a few covers for that as well. And this one, this is issue number one. So it's still a lot of cotton covers to it. So here's the main cover. As y'all, let me move my hand out the way. I won't block anything. I like this colorful variant. Here's the second variant. Here's the third variant. And the fourth and final variant. Actually, that was a Stormbreaker variant as well. I like what they're doing with these little limited series to these Batman villains as well in this. Oh, I had another Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, so, here's issue number six of the Spider-Man 2022 new um, series. Uh, with Silk on the, on this variant cover. So, you have Silk on that cover. And then you have... This one has... It looks like everybody that were was infected. And this is part six of End of the Spider-Verse as well. So the first six issues of that comic book has been the end of the Spider-Verse. So there's some type of climactic ending coming on. Also, here's, like I said, The Amazing Spider-Man, number 21. I already showed you 22, so here's the main issue. And here's the Stormbreaker variant with Silk. Silk has been on a few covers of the Spider-Man comics so far. Let's see. Here's Sins of Sinister, Nightcrawlers. There's only one issue to that one, issue number two as well. But if I go to the comic book and see another one, I'll grab it. But I, I highly doubt it. But I do have to go there tomorrow and pick up my first half of this month. So, yeah, I'll get that today, tomorrow. And tomorrow's also my wedding anniversary, so I'm going to take the wife out somewhere special. I have her gift upstairs as well. And she was trying to find me a gift, but really, I just told her just um, put some money on my credit card or something like that. I, I really don't have anything I need or that I really want. And if I do want it, I would rather buy it myself than let her buy it. So here's the uh, main issue. The Silver Surfer for Ghost Light number two. And here's the variant. So that's it for that for those comic book pickups. But I will be making my video game uh, video right after this one. So you'll see the same outfit as always when I have enough video games. And you know, I have a, a few things. And I also got a, a, I got a gift. Because I'm going to go see the Mario movie as well tomorrow with my friends. But uh, y'all, as always, follow me on all my social medias. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, I'm trying to get my followers up. I, only, I think I only got like 50, 60 followers on YouTube. Um, I need to put more, post more videos on that, and I need to be more consistent. But sometimes I just don't have the time, especially with my job and them being over understaffed. So now overtime is coming back up, and it's being mandatory again. Well, it was always mandatory, but it wasn't as bad. But now it's getting worse. They are hiring, but... It's not fast enough. But as always, follow me on all my social medias. That's SAK211L. I do have a fa they created a Facebook for my SAC 211L. And I created a Twitter. So now I do have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. Melee is dead. They got rid of that. YouTube and TikTok. Sack 211 l is also my place my PSN tag. So if you want to play some type of game with me, if I own it, I'll play it with you as well. So you know, just shoot me a message. So that's SAK 211 L. And also follow Anchor Gamers on all social medias. 
except for TikTok. They don't have a TikTok. Well, we don't have a TikTok. So it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, Melee is Dead, and YouTube. Uh, Y'all have a great day and enjoy it.